Hello there, this is White Paper Cat, and we're going to be doing a quick overview of the Commander 16, well, technically it's the Commander X16 emulator. So basically, this is an emulation of a computer that the 8-bit uh, guy um, is working on, or was the brainchild of the 8-bit guy. Honestly, I was thinking about getting the... Um, the F256K computer, but they've made some interesting design choices that I don't particularly care for with that system. Plus, I am in no financial, uh, you know, I'm kind of in a financial situation right now where I can't afford either of those. So it's going to be a little while before I actually, you know, buy something like a... Um, like a uh, Commander X16 or a one of the other computer I mentioned before, and actually do a physical review of it. But anyways, this is pretty much the basic for the Commander is pretty much the same thing as Commodore Basic. Well, not the same thing. It's similar. It works in the same way. So, print. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. Enter and run. And I think I have... Let's see. So to load programs, you'd simply just put it in the same folder as the emulator and you'll be able to... I think I made a demo somewhere unless I hadn't um, deleted it already. Oh, I think there it is. Alright, so load, oops, there's a little demo I made. It pretty much shows you how much I know about basic, I'm not really you know, a basic programmer, or a programmer in general. I try, but programming is not my thing. Even though I try it anyways, and I'm a vintage computer enthusiast. If you not know, I'm, you know, part of that community that, um, you know, is into, like, retro PCs and stuff like that. So... It basically, all it does is clear the screen, change the text, and it plays a little tune. Okay, now we're going to clear the memory. And then clear the screen again. Or, I'm just going to reset the emulator. And let's see what I have in my garbage bin. Just I'm just going to... Do a little spring cleaning here, sorry. Do, 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 do. So pretty much, you can save a program just like a Commodore 64, and you can load programs just like a Commodore 64. Just note that um, all of your basic programs and your assembly line programs are all going to have to end, be in the same folder as the emulator in order for it to work. So, yeah. So, let's just... For... 10... Print... There, just for an example, and then we'll save. And there you go. 
And as you can see, it dropped that folder right into the main directory where the emulator resides. And I can just get rid of it if I wanted to. Yeah. It also has a, um, a PDF that you can um, read up on. Or whatever you need to know about the emulator, what it can do. And um, some uh, references to the base, the uh, version of BASIC that this comes in. Or comes with. <coughs> Sorry, brain fart. Anyway. Let's see. I think there's a index around here somewhere so I can click on it. Where's the index? I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom. I might have passed over it, I don't know. Oh wait, maybe this isn't the uh, reference guide. Maybe I clicked on the wrong one. No? Oh, there it is. So yeah, it goes through the uh, addresses and the basic functions and whatnot. Scroll up again, click on that, and it'll tell you a quick reference guide. It's it has the character commands that you know do a lot of text and graphics related things. And a lot of other references, but yeah, this is about as long as I'm going to make this video, so see you later, guys.